Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Microsoft Defender for Cloud Security Policy. Well, this video will guide you through the current Microsoft Defender for Cloud policies based on Azure policy and will show and will see where to enable or disable Microsoft Defender for Cloud policies. The prerequisites to get started for Microsoft Defender for Cloud that you must have a subscription for Microsoft Azure. If you do not, you can set up a free account as uh, I showed you in one of my videos. Right. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. I will go for Defender for Cloud. All right, and I'll go for the Environment Settings under Management. All right, now we'll select my subscription. And you see policy settings, I'll click on security policy under policy settings. And you can see on the top, there is one assignment at the Microsoft Defender for Cloud default policy, which is ASC default, you see here. All right. And it is tied up on my subscription. It has 189 audit policy. This is the default policy for Microsoft Defender for Cloud recommendations, which is enabled by default on the subscription. This is the default set of policies monitored by Microsoft Defender for Cloud. It was automatically assigned as part of onboarding to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. The default assignment contains only audit policies. Now you have to click on the assign assignment if you will click here. And this is the assignment which helps Microsoft Defender for Cloud to assess the environment and audit data and do not enforce without the approval. Now, if you will, on the edit part, if you will click on parameters and on the parameters page, you can see the full list of let me click on cancel. Now, when you un Okay, now when you uncheck this box, it will pull up these uh, parameters and uh, now on the network security groups on the subnet level should be enabled. If I go down or if I do control F. Network security group. So it's network security groups on the subnet level should be enabled. Now change the action to audit if not exist. To enable the monitoring of the energy on subnets, now you click on review plus save. Now on the review tab, you can see that the, it is ordered if not exist. You can click on save. And wait for the policy update will until complete is successful. It says updating policy assignment. But now if you go to the Azure policy page. Oh, I'll do this. Click on policy. 
Under the authoring, click on definition to explore the built-in policy definitions. And now if you come here and under category, you go for initiative and if you search for here it is defender Cloud or you go for Azure Security Benchmark. Now, if you see the policy, it has 205 policies. Now, if you want to click on the assignment, click on assignments. If you I want to check the assignments here, if you go for security benchmark, no. ASC default. Here it is ASC default initiative. Click on it. It lists all the policies that were present in the Microsoft Defender. All right, I all right. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.